you know, I look at pictures of my prom and stuff and and all I think of is like, oh, that's when Ellen was in the hospital or that's when she fainted on the bus. Right. And all of my friends, they think that she's some kind of freak. I'm a horrible person, Kester. Why would you say that? My mum asked me if I cared about the new baby. And I said no. And the frightening thing is, is that I meant it. I don't care. You don't know anything about it. I know she didn't go through anything different than any of us. We all get through it. Yeah? Then what's that? instead of killing yourself. Everywhere I go, I seem to break things. And the more I try to fix them, the more I make it worse. It's not just my mum. It's my friends. It's Chloe. Because you can't fix other people until you've fixed yourself. But I can't be fixed. But you need to be with people who accept you for who you are. You should never apologize for being you. Open this door! Open this damn door! You want to go out in the world? You better grow up! Grow the hell up! Imagine this instant, frozen in time. People will look back at this as the exact moment that last bit of Riverdale's innocence finally died, when darkness won. Showtime. Open race, okay? Just like Alex, you're gonna forget me. I won't. I won't, I won't. Open this door. Hey, open the door. <laughs> and I appreciate that, Fiona, but I'm here now, and Fiona belongs with me. He doesn't even know who you are. I'm his mother. You are my mother, too. <laughs> It's okay! It's okay! They're just mutts! It's not real! thought about it, the more I figured <laughs> if I don't need lunch, maybe I don't need breakfast or dinner either. No! No! You don't know anything about your mother. She was never here. She was a beautiful, crazy, fragile, wonderful woman. She deserted us. She loved us. That was love? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, then why did she leave? You don't know what you're talking if about. She loved us so much. Why wasn't she here? She tried. She She wasn't here. Tried. She was never fucking here. She left. I was nine. Nine and taking care of you. Taking care of all of us. I'm not paying for you to act like fucking a whore and live off me for free. I fucking live Ugly with you fucking anyway. Whore. She didn't love me. She didn't love you. She didn't give a shit about anyone but herself. 
Please. I'm glad she's dead. At least now she can't fuck us over anymore. <laughs> 